Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Life is Me. I have an unboxing today. Well, not really an unboxing, but I just wanna show you some stuff that my friend Terry sent me from her husband's trip to a pen show in Arkansas. So she said they didn't have a lot of goodies other than pen stuff. <laughs> that funny? Anyway, um, I unboxed this stuff, but I didn't actually look through it so I could do it on video. And I'm hoping it's not being too loud, but look, it's a whole bottle of ink. I've never heard of this ink, but it's Cossetot Arkansas Pen Show Exclusive Rapids Green. That's so cool. And it's made and bottled at Vaness Ink, Little Rock, Arkansas. That's cool. I purchased from Vaness before. So we'll have to swatch that. Oh look, it's washi tape. What does it say? Washi tape, Elut Papery. And that's their Instagram too, in case you're interested in going. I got my scissors so I could open stuff. Let's see. This is so, so I just got a notification that my AirPods just connected. So hopefully the audio is okay. But look at that. It's like airmail envelopes, washi tape. I love that. Thank you, Terry. What is this? Planner. Let's see, this is from Kuboto and Lucy Stationery. Chic and fun stationery. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's like a magnetic pen, I think. Oh, it's a sticker too. Look at that. I'm gonna put it somewhere. But look, it's a magnetic pin. I love those and I love pins. Strong grip too. That's cool. And if you want their email, what does it say? Rings, mini pocket personal, A6 passport, B6 standard, A5 letter strings, agenda. In kuboandlucy.com. I'll have to go check them out. This is cool. I like it. All right. And this is like another pin. I love pins. Let's see. This one's a push pin. I loot papery goods. Didn't I read something that had that already? Maybe. I don't know what I'm reading. Oh, it was this. I was like, I've read something. That's cute. Spaced out. And it's got a ha bunch of happy faces. Oh, where am I? Happy faces. Like Saturn. Stars. That's so cool. I like it. I keep dropping everything. Oh, this is a nib. With the state of Arkansas. That's cool. Fountain pen. Sticker, Arkansas Pen Club. I love it. And Arkansas Pen Show. Oh, look, it's got some geese with fountain pens in their mouths. That's cute. I had a chance to go to the California Pen Show, uh, the one in Southern, Southern California. It was at LAX this year. Why am I Butterfingers today? I'm dropping everything. But, oh, this is so cool. Anyway, I had a chance to go to the pen show and I talked myself out of it because I wouldn't have been able to keep myself. Look, Esther book blotter paper. I wouldn't have been able to keep myself from not buying fountain pens, I don't think. And I'm still on my fountain pen restriction. I think I'm gonna make a video of all the pens I would have purchased by now and maybe that'll be like enlightening to me. 
<laughs> this is awesome. I'm not gonna want it. Use it as blotter paper. This is like artwork. Look at this artwork by Ellen Ramiro at Sea the Lines. That is so cool. It's blank on the other side, but I don't think I can use this as blotter paper. This is artwork. This needs to be like in a, no, maybe I can frame them. Same artist, see the artwork? I'm sorry, see the lines. That's so cool. And smaller ones. I love this. Okay, I have dupes of this one, so maybe one of these I can use for like a B6 one or a pocket notebook. See the lines and this is in Madrid it looks like it says Madrid right there unless that's where he's from I don't know I don't know these places well that's not Madrid that's France but does it say anywhere oh this is Istanbul and this has got to say Pisa so it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa and look there's little ones in this too this is awesome. Thank you, Terry. And I'm, I want to see what this ink looks like. So I'm going to be filming a video of all my inks. I went ahead and purchased this coloring ink testing notebook. I guess not a notebook, ink testing book, ink testing book. And I tried to talk myself out of buying this so many times and I figure it's great if you want to look at a color side by side. How I swatch them in my notebook is not going to be the same. So, I think I'm going to swatch it in this. And I'm going to swatch that ink plus uh, two other ones that I've gotten recently that I don't think I've done. I didn't film because I haven't had time to film. So, I started off, well... I had a change in schedule at work and so I don't have my days off like I usually did during the time that my family wasn't home you know I used to have oh look it's got shimmer in it <gasps> anyway I used to have more time and when my family's home I don't really want to do it because I don't know I feel like it takes time away from my family and, you know my kids are older I don't want to take time away Anyway, so maybe I'll just film today. So anyway, that's why I haven't filmed. And then I went on a trip, a work trip, and I came back, came back with a cold and lost my voice. I guess it was more like, I don't know, maybe a cold, a flu, strep, I don't know, something. And so I, is that enough? <laughs> just going on and on. And so then I lost my voice. Okay. Also, I'm going to put this down. I bought this. This is a um, cutter. Not a cutter. Cutting board. It's very thin, flimsy from Dollar Tree. But I purchased it. I, I don't even remember why. I think, it, I think it was to make stencils. But then I never made them. Because I don't even know what I want to do. But I figure this is okay to protect this surface. The cork surface here. We'll see. Anyway, so here's this. And first I'm going to, I don't know, should I write down the name first? I have the, okay. And I don't know if I want to use this one that I always use or this, I think it's Pilot. I think it's a pilot to pen. I'm pretty sure it is. Does it say? Yes, it's a pilot. Okay, so I'm going to use that. And I have my bottle of water here. I think I'm going to use that one. I don't think I'm going to use that other one. Okay, so. I don't know. Here it goes. 
my dog appears to be wanting to stretch and move my things around. So let me move some things around so she doesn't move them for me. Well, you know what? Am I prepared? Kind of. I have a paper towel here. I really should just be using a rag, but that's okay. All right, let's see. I'm excited. Oh, silly. If you ever use this pen, make sure you take the nib co cover off. Is that enough? This is, what is it? I don't know, do I swatch up there, down here? Okay, I'm gonna put the name down here. It's, I really wish I had better handwriting. Casa Tot Rapids. Green. Should I write Arkansas Pen Show Exclusive? Arkansas is AR, right? <laughs> Don't let my kids know I said that. Pen Show. Oh no, I know what it says. It'll be fine. My letters ran together there. Okay, and then I have this to swatch. And I'm trying to, I don't know, do I want to just do one swatch? And then just more saturated on top. Maybe I'll do that. I like it. That bubble, is it gonna create an issue? Do I need to take it off? It has some sheen, I know it does because of all that. Oh no, did it settle again before I swatched it? Do I need to swatch some more? Well, should I just leave it for a little bit? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so the other inks that I have to swatch are this new dominant industry that I purchased. Did I ever finish my story? After I came back from my trip, <laughs> rewind, I um, I lost my voice and it, it went away for a while. So even when I had time, I couldn't, like it went away and then, you know, it got, you know, it came back, but not all the way. So, I couldn't really film. Oh, I like how these come with the little pipette, but I don't need it in this little bag. This is Dominant Industry, Industry Milky Way Blue. Oh, that's pretty too. And I got this a while ago. I just was waiting to be able to film. And, well, Finally time. I don't even know how to pick this up. Oh, let me leave it alone. I said I was gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. I think that's mixed enough. All right, this is Dominant Industry. Milky Way Blue from the Pearl series. All right, let's see if that's enough. <laughs> ah! See, it's a good thing I have this. And that 
locked in, right? There. I'm going to make a mess. I just know I am. Okay, so now do I need to mix it up again? I'm just going to leave it. However it comes out, it comes out. This is dominant industry. Milky Way Blue. I think that's pretty. Okay, now what did I do? Why? All right, we'll see if that's enough. Mixing. I should have gotten a new Q-tip. These aren't expensive, but I don't like making a lot of trash. All right. Oh, that's pretty. And I'll just put some more up here. Is this thing supposed to stay on? I don't know. Ah. I should glue it to the back of that. Like I'm shaky from putting that on. Okay, so here it is. Oh, that's pretty, but I need to wait for it to dry, right? Do you see? Oh, I think I do see sheening properties. Okay, let me go on. And then this one is Private Reserve Ebony Purple. How can I do this? Don't judge my bottle opening skills. And tell me how dangerous I am. Or you can. Okay, I don't think this has any shimmer, right? I didn't see anything settled down there. Whoa. This bottle is dangerous. Okay, this is Private Reserve. Oops. You know that says Private Reserve. Reserve. Oh man, that was the ugliest E. There's no fixing that. Oh man. I'll just make the first letter dark on the name Ebony Purple. All right. It is dark. Okay. Now Q-tip. Man, that is a bill opening. That makes me nervous. Oh, that's pretty. A bit more saturated on the top. And let me get this lid on before it... it's like collecting on the sides. Look at that. <gasps> that's so scary. I don't I don't think I like this bottle. Is it gonna leak? I don't know. Okay, here are my three. Oh, I almost touched that. My three new inks. Let's see if you can see the shimmer in this. It definitely has some shimmer. I don't know that you can see it. I can see it on the C right here. I think it, I should have mixed it up again before I dumped the, or I dunked the, Oh, look at that. You can see it right there, the C. Before I dip the Q-tip in there. I should have mixed it up a little more. Maybe I should do that first. Oh, but then it won't be on my writing. Look at that one. 
Dominant Industry, Milky Way Blue, and Private Reserve Ebony Pearl. And I got a little bit of that right there. I, don't, I think it's from that one and not this one. Anyway, so these are my three new inks. This big old gigantic opening bottle scares me. And let's see what else. I am happy with all the things that Terry sent me from the Arkansas Pen Show. Look at all that shimmer. Okay, so this is Casa Tot Rapid Screen Private Reserve Ebony Purple and Dominant Industry Milky Way Blue. And then all the goodies that Terry sent me. Look at this. This is so cool. And the pins, because I love pins. I don't think she knew that, but it's just lucky. And this one too. And these are just beautiful. I love it. Okay, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to use it as blotting paper though. It's just beautiful. Anyway, that's it. That's everything I have to share with you today. Oh, you know what? I also got this Diamine Meadow. But I don't know that I want to swatch it on one of these since I don't have a bottle. Let me see. I'll just swatch it real quick on something else. Okay, I have my weeks. I'll just swatch it in the back of my week somewhere. Or I'll swatch it in one of the front pages that I didn't use because I don't start my Obonichi weeks till December. I haven't had a chance to film any of my Hobonichi week setups either. It's just busy, you know? I don't think this requires... Does it? I don't know. Why? Oh, I think this was a random ink sample. Was it? I don't know. I don't remember if I ordered it or if it just came because I ordered... I threw in a random ink sample. You know how they do that? Okay, Diamine Meadow... Diamine Meadow and do the Q-tip thing. Oh, I do kind of remember or ordering that because it was a light green that I just thought was pretty. I'm gonna get ink all over myself here and any Okay, so yeah, I think I did order that. I cannot remember if I had ordered it or if I just threw in one of those random ink samples, but no, I did order it. This is Diamine Meadow. That's pretty, right? It's a nice green. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. I'm going to be filming. I'm going to swatch all my inks and I'm going to film it. And I think I'm gonna do it in stages, like do like all my pilots, all my diamines, like in sections or categorize them, I guess. And that way I can also, I, I can film like a long one and then also separate them in smaller chunks in case anybody is only interested in pilot or nude lures or, you know, the randoms. I guess I'll diamine too, I have diamines. Or maybe I'll just do one video, we'll see. I'll figure it out. I wanted to film my, we'll figure it out. Anyway, um, thank you for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye.